If you're a card maker who loves to get a jump on their Christmas cards over the summer, or you just want to check out the holiday supplies that are coming out right now, this video is for you. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel. In this video, I am sharing some of the latest Spellbinders glimmer foil plates and stitchable dies and embossing folders that are great for the holidays. So let's get a jump on Christmas and make a few cards and I'll share the new supplies along the way. I like to do all my foiling at once. So I have the Christmas mailbox greetings and the all occasion mailbox greetings. These are both sets of glimmer plates. So I'm gonna do one at a time. I like to cut small pieces of foil. So I have a gold foil with the gold facing the glimmer plate and then the cardstock on top. I'm using Spellbinders colorful cardstock because it is nice and smooth. And then I put the plates on top. I'm using both plates this time. They worked really well. So sometimes I use both plates. Sometimes I use a piece of cardstock. I have the glimmer essential solid diamond hot foil plate. Now I am going to do a video in the future about different ways to use these solid foil plates, but I love this diamond shape and I love the whole solid diamond in gold foil. So I'm just going to use it as is this time on a card. I also have the Glimmer Essential Solid Arch Hot Foil Plate, which is a really great arch. Now for this diamond and this arch, they have dies that are different sizes of the same shape. I didn't have those on hand, but I'm gonna link to them down in the YouTube description box below the video so that if you want to, you can cut out these solid foil images with those dies and then cut other layers as well. But just check that out out. I can't even believe how beautiful and smooth that foiling came out with the glimmer machine and the gold foil. I'm going to start with the parcel and post mailbox etched dies. Now this one is sold out pretty much everywhere right now, but I want you to sign up for a notification if you want it because I have a feeling this one is going to be one of those ones that you're going to reach for time and again. Yes, it makes a really cute Christmas card, but there's also in the all occasions, there's sentiments for birthdays and thanks. And you can see just by having a cute little mailbox with some flowers and leaves coming out of it, that this would be a great little image to use on a ton of different cards. And I have a feeling that there going to come out with other ways to use this basic mailbox. So I am creating all the little goodies that come along with it. There's an envelope, there are some flowers that you can layer, the stem, the center, and the flower petals. There's also, as you can see, I put the handle on there already. I cut that out of gold mirror cardstock. There are some flower centers and tiny little flowers that you can layer on top of each other if you cut them out of two colors. And for the sentiment I'm going to cut out one of the glimmered sentiments that I had there and it comes with that little rectangle die that fits perfectly right here on the mailbox. Such a cute die set. So I'm going to cut the arch that we had solid foiled and like I said you can use the dies to cut yours out if you want and I'm going to place it on top of the dazzling dots embossing folder which I used on an A2 piece of white cardstock. I love that subtle textured background really adds just a little special something and then I'm going to put my mailbox kind of on top of that arch so that it's it's kind of glowing in the background there. And then I'm going to use some Ultrabond liquid glue. You can open up the mailbox, which makes it really easy to tuck things inside. So it's die cut that way. And you can add the flowers. There's the little envelope. I put one of the small flowers as a seal on the envelope, but you could mix and match, use different colors, different sentiments here. Even the mailbox could be different colors as well. I wanted this set so badly that I bought it myself. They did not send it to me. So sign up for notifications if you wanted to. Okay, next up, we're going to use the Blooming Tree Glimmer Hot Foil Plate and Die Set. So you can see there are several glimmer plates and you can foil a tree, a little flower, a leaf, just some other little accessories to go with it. And then there are dies to cut all those out. So I'm going to use another one of the sentiments. I cut it out with that same rectangle from the mailbox die set. And I'm going to 
gonna place that at the top of my card. I'm gonna put the tree starting at the bottom of my card, just overlapping the sentiment just a touch. And then I'm gonna use some liquid glue to put some of these accessories tucked behind and on top of the tree, just for little pops of red all along the tree as well. This is a really simple card, but I love all that foiling on top of the color cardstock. It just comes out so beautifully. Okay, next up, we are going to use that solid foil diamond. So since I don't have the dies, I am going to cut it in my trimmer by placing the flat edge along the trimmer edge and just trimming it down with just a tiny bit of white around the edge. I use that same embossing folder and I love, again, that white embossed background. It's just a subtle textured background. So I'm gonna pop up the solid diamond and then I'm going to place the tree popped up just at the bottom and then some tape at the top so that it adheres to the diamond. Again, super, super simple, but I love the foiling and then the texture of the embossing powder. Okay, this is the stitched diamond argyle etched dies. So anything that is a hole here gets die cut out. There's also a rectangle die that comes along with it. So I cut out the stitching die first and then I cut out the rectangle around it. That's how I line it up. For me, that's the easiest. And then I use the Spellbinders tool in one, just kind of that brush tool to brush along there and it gets out a lot of those little pieces that are stuck inside. And now for the stitching. So I have said this before, I love these stitch dies from Spellbinders because the stitches are large. The reason I love that is because it doesn't take as long. If the stitches are teeny tiny, it's going to take me basically a year and a day to finish because I am a slow stitcher even though I've sped this up so I wouldn't bore you um, but normally I, it takes me a long time to stitch but with these guys because you're basically doing these large stitches from the center towards the outside to create that kind of diamond stitched look it really does not take long at all it's very simple stitching nothing complicated and you can do do this for sure while you're watching TV or anything else because it is such a basic stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up pink on top and then the green it's kind of like a lime green underneath now I had done so many cards so far with very traditional Christmas colors that I had to throw in one with kind of a pink and chartreuse looking color and here I am finishing up the green now you can see there's some diamonds at the top and the bottom that I did not stitch I feel like that gives the eye a little place to rest or maybe I was just being lazy I don't know so <laughs> I like it like that with a little bit of space to rest at the top. I'm going to put some of the Spellbinders gold enamel kind of dots on the centers of those diamonds, but I'm not going to do them in the five in the middle because that's where our little sentiment is going to go. I'm using another one of those sentiments that I glimmer foiled at the beginning and using some Thermweb foam squares to pop that up because those are nice and sticky and they stick to the threads. The best part about working ahead on your holiday cards is that you can include things like glimmer, foiling, and stitching because you have all this time to work on them before the holiday madness actually begins. So I hope you'll join me this year in getting a jump on your Christmas cards. You can check out my entire playlist which includes this year's and last year's videos over here. As always, I want to thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. Look at what, look at that. We're running out of time here, we're gonna lose light. That was my stomach and it was really loud. Okay, okay, okay. Up there. Okay, even though some <laughs> supplies. Mm. Let's try that again. Bleh. Kind of sounded bleh.